welcome to Genesis Models my name is Bobby Waldron and what I'm going to be showing you today is a nice tutorial on weathering your model now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, what I call a pin wash um, and what this is is we get ourselves some oils from MIG production I've used wash brown and black and you mix it into what is kind of like a standard colour for doing panel line washing is um, a dark dirt kind of colour. Right? So we mix it together and it's, it's almost like a black but it's just got that nice bit of brown in there to make it a dark dirt sort of almost like a wet mud kind of colour. Um, and plain and simply, you, f you, you, mix, you thin it down to a coffee kind of consistency with some odourless turpentines from um, MIG production. So those are the three ingredients and you mix it to a nice coffee consistency and a nice dark mud colour. Right, and what we do is I'll just show you what I've already done. I've already done one wing just to show you the, the results. And what we've got here is all our panel lines have been, let's bring you in, all our panel lines have been filled in and as you can hopefully see, are looking all, uh, have brought out all the, that panel line detail. Even this bit of raised detail here has been brought out a bit by the oil wash. Um, and then we've got this kind of a general also, I don't know if you can see it's on camera maybe a natural metal finish aircraft wasn't like the best example to show you but um, there is like a slight fading of the whole sort of paintwork as well I can just see it where you know it's just got this bit of a dark dirt very very light very tinged very 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 faint um, fading of the whole kind of panel work as well as that we've got these bits of streaking going on as well which also adds to and enhances the general weathering that's going on here and it's just light streaking we don't want massive amounts of streaking because it looks a bit unnatural we can do big oil streaks later in in our flaps area but for now it's just a very light very faint very almost hard to see general all-round light little streaks going all the way along as I say you might not be able to see that quite on camera um, I hope you can um, but what we're gonna do we're gonna do this wing and I'm gonna show you just how I achieved this now the first thing you want to do is you want to fill in your panel lines so getting our little mixture that we've made which you can do yourself all right make sure you give it a shake because Although it can keep in a nice um, glass jar like this empty Tamiya pot, it does need a bit of a shake just to get all the the, um, the actual oil mixed back in off the bottom. And simply, I'm using a Windsor and Newton Series 7 paintbrush here, and it's a size triple zero. And hopefully, what you're going to see is we just tap our recessed panel lines, and it just flows nicely like so and what you also want to do to get our streaks is you want to be a little bit unneat in places deliberately you actually want to get these little spots on the actual panel lines like hopefully you're seeing little mistakes little spots which does actually make it a bit easier and quicker to actually fill all these panel lines in and what these spots will do, they will help with the whole streaking process. Hopefully as you can see just gone round and I've just done a nice pin wash there and as I've kind of forgot to mention is when it comes to rivets you know don't worry about it just 
paint over it like you would kind of paint in anywhere it's no big deal we're all going to clean this all up and make it all look nice and tidy but give it a nice kind of weathering look in a bit um, so what we want to do now we want to get our hands on some uh, cotton wool buds right we want to use these to clean up and we want to use our odorless turpentine to reactivate um, the actual oil wash we've just put down on here to create our weathering effect so what we need to do is dip in our cotton wool bud into our odorless turpentines and we just on the side just want to wipe away most of the um, the actual turpentines so we've got just a nice moist um, cotton wool bud we don't want it to be flooded with odorless turpentine right and what we want to do is for our first pass right we just want to just nicely rub down with our first pass nice one go over nothing mad nothing excessive and we can also wipe the other way you know we don't have to go as long as we go in um, forward and backwards and not um, left to right um, forward and backwards is okay just don't go left to right because we want to show a direction of flow and as you can see we're starting to get a bit of an effect going on um, and one, one thing I did forget to mention is before you do this make sure you're not spraying with enamels right um, seal it in with a nice gloss coat right um, something like um, here we go something like what I use Alclads to um, aqua gloss or even using got some down here some clear pledge surf multi surface floor cleaner um, use some of that because um, if you kind of seal it in with um, enamels it just makes a mess and everything so um, just remember kind of acrylic based that kind of stuff um, and you want it to be nice and glossy so you can actually you know re you know kind of maneuver and play around with and wipe away and clean up and make the streaks easier than if you used a matte coat and it'll kind of like the oils would kind of dig into the paintwork a bit and you wouldn't be able to um, play with it so much like I am here All right and what you want to do is you just want to keep on doing this process of streaking up and down to kind of start to create our streaks All right now the beauty of this is you can't really um, make a mistake because it wipes away because we're basically taking something that is and was more dirty and we're just plain and simply cleaning it um, the only mistake we can make here is to clean it too much and we end up back to the beginning and have to start again but we've not ruined anything we just you know we've just got to start again so um, you know that is the beauty and what I like about this and what we can do as well and um, what I like to do is just quickly come along with your airbrush cut into air and just dry it off as you go along right there's no harm in just quickly drying it off because um, when it's a little bit moist and a little bit wet you can't quite see exactly how it's gonna look so by drawing it down we actually see how it's gonna look and we actually can see you know where we need to tidy up where we need to clean up a bit more and get it to the way we want it all right so looking at this we've got a few kind of biggish streaks here that we don't want on our flap um, and it's probably looking a little bit kind of dirtier up here so um, what we can do we can get our cle a clean bud and again remember wipe away most of that um, turpentine so we don't flood it and we can just start to clean up the areas again all right keep kind of making it cleaner so you kind of get more streaks and we're, we're after very very faint almost um, almost non-noticeable streaks is what we're after which will give us a general all-round good look um, to the general model so let's speed this up
hopefully you enjoyed that nice little tutorial on using um, oil based um, washes to fill in your recessed panel lines um, and hopefully you like the nice little bonus effect that you can do when using oils is where we can make these very faint very light streaking effects to actually um, you know kind of add that nice extra layer to the whole weathering process as well as there is this very nice um, very kind of light fading of the whole paintwork that just gives it that bit of a nice weathered sort of a bit of a front line kind of look to the whole general aircraft now oils is one of these things that i do think is the most professional way to go when doing pretty much a lot of your weathering as well as using all those enamel based washes and filters you know that is the way to go and, and i think a few people are a little bit timid about using them but hopefully this nice little tutorial has kind of shown you that actually it's not that hard making your own little pin wash isn't that hard um, and just simply you don't even have to be that neat when kind of applying the pin wash and then simply wiping away our um, pin wash to make this kind of streaky effect as I showed you with the cotton uh, cotton wool bud you know you can't make a mistake because at the end of the day you're cleaning the model and the whole gloss surface will allow you to wipe it away completely and utterly clean um, so you know there is no mistakes to be made apart from you know wiping away all the wash and basically having to start again so hopefully you know this tutorial has shown you um, how to use oils as a pin wash of getting your um, recessed panel lines nicely filled in doing some very nice faint light streaking weathering effect as a bit as well as a nice bit of fading of the general paintwork